My name is Mike Lowry. They call me Orange Mike for some reason, and I edit as Orange Mike. I started out editing articles about science fiction, science fiction culture, science fiction fanzines, and fandom. But uh, my uh, one of my other interests is politics. I was nominated for the state legislature when I was 20 years old. And I have done over 200 articles on Wisconsin legislators, on Wisconsin legis legislative history, on labor history, both in Wisconsin and elsewhere. Uh, one of my personal projects was I sat down to write a Wikipedia article for every person who's ever served in the Wisconsin legislature as a member of a minor party. So we're talking uh, not just the socialists, but we're talking the Labor Party, the Greenbackers, the Liberty Union, uh, the Free Soilers, and other parties that are long since forgotten. But uh, in one case, the Greenbackers actually got one of their members elected as Speaker of the House as part of a deal between because the Democrats and the Republicans didn't have enough people. But uh, I love being able to dig out information to, to correlate things. The guy I mentioned, he was a lumberman. He got elected to the legislature from a minor party. He only served one term, and then he moved off to Montana and opened a stagecoach stop. But nobody had ever connected Augie Waters, who had this stagecoach stop in Montana territory in a place called You Bet Montana, with the guy who, Augustus Waters, former speaker of the Wisconsin State Assembly. Uh, same person, but nobody ever connected the two, even though his son had a biography published. Uh, the world is full of information, and I think it's sort of the opposite of the, the old Lovecraft thing about it is merciful that the human mind can't correlate its all, all its contents. It is a blessing that we can correlate the information that exists buried somewhere in a forgotten book or an obscure magazine and share it with the rest of the planet. I've learned more about the politics of Telangana in India than I ever wanted to because I was working on some conflict of interest edits that somebody had pointed out. Uh, there's an entire globe, 8 billion people, and Wikipedia is about sharing the information between all of us. I, my only regret is I don't have more languages. I can only do it in English and Esperanto. But we have Wikipedia in hundreds of languages to share with the world, and I think that's a glorious thing. Can you say something about your process? How are you able to make these connections? Where do you do your research? Well, I start... Can you repeat, uh, yeah, like, yeah, I do this yeah, by... Yeah, I, I, I dig my data out first by using the existing archives. I, I use something called the Wikipedia library where editors, experienced editors like myself are licensed to access what would otherwise be for pay archives and, and information services. But I'm lucky in doing Wisconsin history because Wisconsin had a, we actually had a historical society before we had statehood. And uh, we, put, there's a, a beloved mess of stuff piled up, a lot of it online, not as much as I'd like to and not as well organized as I'd like to see it, but an incredible amount of information is available online if you know where to look. You have to train yourself to dig, you have to train yourself to the quirks, the quirks of indexing, the quirks of archiving, but I am able to go and dig and m match pieces of information. Now, if you're dealing with somebody named uh, William Smith, there are literally hundreds of different articles about different people named William Bill or Will Smith. It's one of the, one of the joys of figuring out, is this the right guy or not? You know, there were three guys named Doyster who were in the Wisconsin legislature who were all born in Prussia. But I can't find out whether the third Doyster was related to the other two Doysters from Prussia who were active in the same political party. But at least I can find out, OK, this guy was born in this part of this province. Uh, but again, you, you, you dig out. Wisconsin has something called the Blue Book, which is published every year. That, that's a good base place for me to start. Science fiction fans, science fiction fanzines, there are people out there who are doing nothing but getting old fanzines, scanning them and putting them online. University of Iowa Library has an incredible archive of science fiction fanzines and prozines and books. And they're trying to get some of this stuff online so that you can then find out. The word fanzine, 
wasn't made up by some journalist. The word fanzine was made up by a science fiction fan who was trying to make a distinction between the professional magazines and the commercial ones and, and, and the fan written ones. Uh, the, the term space opera. I knew the guy that coined the term space opera in his fanzine and I've helped improve the article on this guy. Uh, but you've got to know where the stuff is being stored. There are people out there who obsess on the history of barbed wire. If you want to do an article on barbed wire, you have to find out where the good barbed wire sites are and go through and find what the, you know, what the degree of reliability is for a Wikipedia article. Uh, and there is someone somewhere, someone who is hopelessly expert on any topic, no matter, you may think of it as obscure, to them, it is the most wonderful and interesting thing in the world, and they'll bore you to death talking about it. But that boring expert makes for an excellent article. Why do you do this? And you mentioned labor, but didn't go into detail about that. Do you have anything to say about that? So yeah. Two questions. Why, and then like, do you have an interest in labor? OK. Uh, I do this because I am a historian. I am fascinated by the past. There are thousands of years of human beings just like you and me with their own interesting quirks and quiddities that did stuff. And somewhere back there was somebody whose entire life was dedicated to improving the building of log cabins or, or whatever. But there are billions of people of the past, all of whom contributed to this wonderful thing called humanity, this wonderful thing called civilization. And Wikipedia is a way of preserving and sharing information both the information they found and the information about these people who found it. It is a way of, of what science fiction fans call time binding. It comes from an obscure forgotten cult called, called non Aristotelian thinking. But time binding is about keeping track of the way the world is. The Mike Lowry of 2023 is not the Mike Lowry of 1977, is not the Mike Lowry of 1954. But all of those Mike Lowry's are part of this great complex universe of ours. And Wikipedia is about finding the, the interesting people, the interesting things, and sharing it and preserving it and correlating it. So that if you want to find out why did the Wisconsin legislature pass this law in 1956, changing how towns are incorporated, there was a politician. He had political interests, and this, is, this was the reasoning behind it. At the time, it was in all the papers, and now nobody remembers it except nerds like me. You can find the information, put it in, and someone interested in why my hometown is racially segregated so badly, it's partly because of that law that was passed because of this guy back in the 50s. It's all a tapestry. This entire 8 billion people is a tapestry, and the people who came before us are part of that tapestry, too. Now, yes, why I do labor articles. I'm a, I'm a former uh, well, I'm president of a small union local, American Federation of State County Municipal Employees. I've been on our state executive board. I've been on or chaired our bargaining team uh, for Wisconsin state employees. But ask me in general. I have been a delegate to our ask me international conventions um, and been on, on the uh, county labor council where I was. Uh, but labor is democracy in the workplace. Unions are democracy in the workplace. And if you can't figure it out, then you don't understand democracy or the workplace. I, worked, I work three jobs right now, and I pay three sets of union dues, and I'm damn proud of it. American Federation of State County Municipal Employees for my day job. National Writers Union, because I'm a freelance writer and editor and Industrial Workers of the World, IWW Industrial Union 660, because I'm a retail clerk at a bookstore. And the shop isn't organized, but by damn, I am. So I like to do labor articles, but I also very much, very carefully watch my own conflict of interest and any risk of losing the neutral point of view, which is mandatory for a Wikipedia article. And I'm proud to think I do a good job. I, I made the mistake of writing one article about a place where I worked, but I stay away from that article now completely, and I've fully disclosed my conflict of interest from the get-go. Uh, and uh, if any time I f think I might be risking a conflict of interest, I watch myself 
and uh, I've been told by people who strongly oppose me on, an, on a, a various topics that I do a damn good job. Thanks so much, Mike. Anything else you want to share talk about? I think you did great. It's tough to do Wikipedia well, but it is, for a certain type of nerd, it is a wonderful place. And uh, obsessive compulsive is also always spelled with a hyphen.